Now, once we have the index page, let's take a look at how we can authorize the user. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back to the Google and search for nextauth.js. And using this nextauth.js.org website, I'm going to install this package in my Next.js application. Nextauth.js is the authentication for Next.js. This library is used to authenticate the user. Nextauth has built-in support for popular services like Google, Facebook, AuthO, and many more. Nextauth is completely flexible and can be used with databases like MySQL, MongoDB, and Postgres. To add Nextauth in your application, you have to create nextauth.js file in the server and on the client side, you wrap the session provider and pass the session. The session variable is just going to create a cookies and store all your values inside your client application. And your component, you're just going to say if you have your session, then that is your authorized user. Otherwise, you have the guest user. So this is a very simple concept of Nextauth. So what we have to do is we need to first create this nextauth.js file. So before we create this file, we need to install nextauth. So we need to first install nextauth in the Next.js application. To do that, you can click on this npm and open a new tab. You have to execute a command npm i for install and then specify nextauth. Let me copy this. Let me first stop the development server, clear the screen. And here I'm going to say npm i for install nextauth. When I press enter, this is going to install the nextauth library inside my Next.js project. Now, once we have this library, what you have to do is you have to create this nextauth.js file. Right inside this API folder, I'm going to create another folder and name this auth. And inside this folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this file nextauth.js. But what I'm going to do is instead of just nextauth, I'm going to wrap the nextauth file name inside a bracket. And here I'm going to say triple dot nextauth and then I'm going to specify here dot js. You can see how I specify name to this file. Using these triple dots inside this bracket, we can catch all the routes. So any route we direct to this path will be catched by this endpoint. From this file, you have to return the next auth function. So if you back to the documentation, then you can notice here you can find we export the default function called next auth. And we get this function from the next auth library. In the application, I'm going to say import next auth from in the single code, I'm going to say next auth. Just out of that, right down here, I'm going to say export default next auth. And then to this next auth, we specify different options right inside these curly braces. And now if you closely take a look at, at this documentation, then you can notice here we have a different import statement. And all this import statement is going to import the provider. Authentication provider in Next.js are services that can be used to sign in a user. So you can notice here we have here an Apple provider. Facebook provider, Google provider, and the email provider. Using any of these services, you can log in inside your application. You can find more about these providers when you click on this documentation. So when you click on it, here you can find you have these providers. And here you have all your providers of this Next.js authentication. So as you know, we are using Google and GitHub. So you can search for here Google. So here it is. We have this GitHub and Google. If you click on it, you can see the documentation of Google login. So what you have to do is, you have to first create application inside Google and then specify your client ID and your client secret to this Google provider. So the Google provider can authorize the user. So to get your client ID and client secret, you have to create a new Google application inside the Google console. So just click on this link console.developers.google.com. So this is going to open the page something like this. Here you can create a new project and specify your credential. So what you have to do is you have to first log in on this Google Cloud and click on this auth consent screen. What you have to do is you have to specify your application details. I already have my application detail here. Let me show that. So the application name is auth app. Then we have the publishing status, which is testing. The user type is external. Then when I scroll down here, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to leave everything as it is. If I click on this edit app, you have to first specify your app name, the user support email. If you have your app logo, then you can specify that here. Leave everything as it is and just specify your contact information right down here. So specify your email here. After that, click on save and continue. Just out of that, leave everything as it is here. Click on save and continue again. Leave everything as it is here as well and click on save and continue. At the end, you will have the summary like this. Just click on back to dashboard. Just out of that, click on credential. And here you have to create new credentials for this application. So just click on this create credential and click on this auth client ID. 
So you have to request for the auth client ID and then specify your application type. My application type is for web application. So I'm going to choose this web application and then I'm going to specify name for my app, which is auth app. Then I have to specify the origin. You have to specify the authorized JavaScript origins. So just click on this add URL and paste my link here, something like this. Right down here to this authorized redirect URLs. Here you specify for use with request from a web server. So if you click on the sign in button where you want to redirect the user. So we add here a URL, something like this. I'm going to first specify my domain and then I'm going to specify the API folder. Then I'm going to specify the auth folder. Then I'm going to say callback and Google. So when the user click on sign in, I'm going to redirect the user to this path. The next auth library will automatically handle this path and return the authorized user as a response. So you have to specify this path and click on this create button. When you click on it, this is going to create a new auth client. You can see your client ID and your client secret. So what you have to do is you have to copy your client ID and client secret in your application. Or you can download this by clicking on this download JSON. Back to my project and here I'm going to create two variables. Constant client ID is equal to, here I'm going to specify my client ID and I'm going to say constant client secret. And then I'm going to copy this client secret and then specify that here. And I'm going to click on this OK button. So next, what I have to do is I have to call this Google provider and pass client ID and client secret as a parameter. 